Lions TV, full time from the den, where it finished Millwall 1, Crystal Palace 2. Um, Joe, tell me what you thought of the game. It was, um, I think we was unlucky. I think it was, um, they just pipped us really. Uh, they showed their class a bit, second half. Or, I don't know really, they've, well, they've had a couple of chances, they've put it away. But um, I felt we, um, I felt we was fairly in control of that. And uh, Someone said under Harris we, we would have won that game. Someone said we would that. And, Maybe you could say we would, um, but yeah, I, I think we can feel pretty hard done by and to come away from that game losing. I, I, I missed the the first goal for them, it's come straight after half time. I was downstairs in the toilet, but um, bowl accounts should have been been offside. But no VAR at Championship grounds, but. Um, yeah, and no, I think yeah. that might have been, was it the first goal or the second goal? No, the Vince. first goal everyone was saying oh, right, that, okay. but I didn't see it, but um, yeah. I think we can feel really hard done by it, but I don't think you can really fault the players' efforts today, no. I think. They really put, put everything into it, but just, there's just still something I thought we... We, we could have come away from that with a win, and we should have done. I think it was a chalk and cheese, sort of. I would say chalk and cheese, because in my opinion, first half, I think we was very solid. We were soaking up all the pressure. Um, I think we limited them to maybe one shot from outside the area. Um, and we was playing really well and we was looking solid. Um, then second half, they come out. I wouldn't say all guns blazing, but um, the atmosphere wasn't there in the second half. Obviously, as soon as you kick off, most of the people are downstairs in the concourse still having a beer. That, that's the thing. I and, think... Um, the atmosphere is all sort of yeah. falls flat, doesn't it? And um, they got their goal. What? Four, three or four minutes into the second half, I mean, then it minute. sort of just well killed the atmosphere completely. Yeah. Um, and then you know we let we kept on letting Elise. Every time he was going down that side, I was I was shouting, I was saying, "Do not let him cut in! Do not let him cut in!" And then he cut in and. See from where I was sitting and it was going straight in. I, I didn't see and that then, from him in the first half. I didn't see that threat. And all yeah. of a sudden, second half, you see that. And second half, they came out was, and they started attacking. It was literally that yeah. first 10, 15 minutes of the second half killed us off for the yeah. game. Yeah, exactly. I think, massively, um, massively. What you yeah. said about the atmosphere as well, I think yeah. if we didn't have that half time break, if that game just went straight through 90 minutes, we would have won it. And we, we didn't have that half time, that little break, we would have won it. It's like. Don't get me wrong, atmosphere brilliant, first half, and then it's like half time comes, and then second half, you you feel like you've got to gear yourself back up. Yeah, yeah. But we just carried on through with no break. We, we would have won that game, I'm telling you. The thing but, is, is. Mate, we had chances at the end, yeah. I just think. But it's, it's we true. Didn't capitalize. We didn't capitalise. We didn't. That was a Palace team for me that were there for the taking. Yeah. We didn't. And I think, yeah. in all honesty, I think when Savile came off, I think it changed the game. I think when we brought on Kifton Bell, I think he's more of a defensive-minded yeah. player. Yeah. And he's more of, he's more of a player for me who you bring on with 15 minutes to go to try and kill a game off. To shore just up to keep game. Possess, Just to keep if, possession if of the ball. If you're in the lead, for me, Kifton Bell doesn't do nothing when no. you're. Bu- when you're behind in a game, he's not the player you want on a bit. Oh, and the three subs he made as well, he took literally a phobie, Bradshaw and Ojo off all together and completely changed it. I do not agree with that at all. Yeah. Right. Ojo, Ojo had a, good had a great game. Yeah, he had a great game, in honesty. Yeah. Um, as much as we slate him. When you've got chances in the box late Ooh. on, Leave, leave one of them on out of a phobia and Bradshaw. Yeah. Fox in the box. Yeah. Some of the chances we had at the end, I think two fell to. Um, what's his one, name? one fell to on. Mason Bennett. No. Uh, Tyler Bury or Matt Smith? No, the Matt other Smith. guy that come on. Matt Smith. I know his name. My mind's frozen. The other one, 18 year Nana Boateng. Nana Boateng, that was it. Two chances fell to him. All right. I'm not digging him out, but. I think if a Fobe or Bradshaw was still on the pitch, then balls coming into the box, we would have got an equaliser. I yeah. think leave, I on leave at well. least one of them on out yeah. of Bradshaw and a Fobe, but he took both of them off. Listen, and, I, I'd say fair play to him. He changed it up. Like I know we went, I know it's too late because we went two one down by that stage, but you know he did change it up. He did, he did switch it up. 
Mason Bennett looked great. Look, well, for me, he looked he good looked when lively. he came on. He looked lively. Yeah, um, even Tyler Bury. Yeah, Tyson. Uh, Tyler Bury, when he came on. <laughs> he's getting, he's getting called, called Tyson Fury at one Tyson stage. Fury. Um, Tyler Bury. But, uh, but that'll be interesting to see what happens with him now. Do we, do we keep hold of him or yeah. do we send him back on loan to Hartlepool? Or, but listen, it was a, for me a man of match performance from Danny McNamara. I think he played absolutely I'd outstanding say, today. I'd say Danny um, McNamara and stand up performance. Or Shay Ojo between the Shay two. Shay Ojo had a good fair. performance as well. But I thought McNamara but, uh, was quality. Listen, Palace Ultras still like the wankers. Um, kind of doesn't bother us. It is annoying to lose against them, but well, they were there for the taking. At the same time, I don't think we can have too many. Well, we yeah. could have complaints, but I don't know. I don't know. It's on to the next one, league game. Come on, you lions! 